Okay, so I ordered a couple of TV stands off of walmart.com. Got both of them here. I'm gonna set them both up and see which one I wanna keep. Uh, maybe I'll keep both of them. What we have is the 58 inch barn door TV stand with side doors. Okay, so this is the one that's gonna have hinges. All right, hinges on the door. The other one is going to be the barn door console. Also 58 inch. This is the one with the sliding barn doors. Uh, I purchased this. Uh, I don't get any uh, free product or anything for doing these videos. But today we're gonna assemble this and, and see what it's all about. We'll have some step-by-step -step instructions. Here's a quick look at the uh, assembly instructions. Looks like it provides some glue for us. We'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so here are all of our pieces laid out. Just about every one of them has a sticker with a number on it to label them, so that's really nice to help locate things. Uh, just that piece there, didn't have one, maybe it fell off. But uh, in any case, that should be all of our pieces. And we got our hardware, uh, two packs there, and now we start putting it together. Okay, the hardware we need for our first step comes, comes from the large bag. We're going to pull out the smaller bag labeled G and H. And inside there you have a bunch of these. Part H requires a Phillips screwdriver. There are 11 of these going in, so let's find all the spots and get them in. All the holes that are the small size, that's where these are going. Okay, and all 11 of those are now screwed in. So on to step two. The next hardware we need is four of part A. Those are wooden dowels and five of part B. Those are bolts. And we'll also use the glue for the dowels. Go ahead and grab a paper towel or even a rag towel uh, and have that ready to wipe away any excess glue. Okay, so on part 15 here, you've got holes in the short side of the board. We're going to put dowels in that one and that one, okay? And then we'll put one dowel on the end here and another dowel on the end there. For the dowel that go, goes on this end, we're putting it in this hole here. Dowel's on this side. This is the one where we put it. And now we use the bolts 
part B. We're gonna connect part 15 here to part 16. To get this on the right way, we wanna find the, the edge here. We're gonna flip ours around. Okay, so now I've got that edge going this way. The hole's on top here for the bolts to go in. And part 15 has the dowels here on the right side. Okay, so that's the way you want it. Next, we have parts three, four, five, and six. We got a bunch of dowels that we're gonna use. Two, four, six times four, that's 24 dowels. A drop of glue goes in the hole before each dowel. And take a look. Each dowel is gonna go on the two inside holes, right? So you're looking at the edge. You have outside hole empty, outside hole empty. The two holes in the middle, is where the dowels are gonna go. That's also true for the long side and both short sides on all four of these pieces. Next, we need parts seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're going to use part H again from our first step. We should have more of those. Here we go, and we need 10 of part H. That should be the rest of them. In eight and nine, we just put part H here on the top. And we'll screw those in. Parts seven and nine, we also put two on the top in the small holes. We'll do that first, and then we got a couple to put on the, the sides. Now we need part seven and part 10. We're gonna put one more in these. So on part 10, it's over here. You see the smaller hole on the end, that's where we're gonna put one. And on part seven, towards that end, on that end, the small hole there. A couple more of part H.
We also need a couple more wood dowels, one in part eight and one in part nine. Okay, so I have a slight discrepancy in my parts compared to the diagram. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not. We'll, we'll see how this works out. But in the diagram here for parts eight and nine, eight and nine, it's got a wood dowel going into the ends here. So here's my part nine with the holes going, uh, holes on the farther away edge just like the picture, and that means my hole for the dowel should be on the left side, but it is not. It's here on the right side. So I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put glue in this one, just in case I need to redo it later. And let's find out together if that's gonna be a problem or not. Okay, for this next step here, we need six of Q and six of C. We also need parts 17, 18, and 19. We're also gonna use the Allen wrench, which is part P in this package. Okay, so Q is an interesting piece here. Uh, it's actually okay to put it on either way is fine. Come over here to part 17. And put part Q right in there and that that peg goes into the hole on the right. And then the screw part C it's going to go in the hole on the left. And with the Allen wrench we'll tighten that in there. We'll do that on the other end of 17 as well, right there. And the same for 18 and 19. Okay, next step is to put 18 and 19 onto 17. So I'm gonna flip 17 around. Okay, so same idea here as before. The peg is gonna go into the hole. And then part C, the screw, goes into here and into that hole. Go ahead and just put part 17 here flat on the ground. That'll be easier to work with. And stand 18 up on the side here. Okay, and now on the other end with part 19. Okay, next we have the two little blocks, part 20. And one of the longer pieces, this is number two. We also need some hardware, the two of part J, which was in the pack with P. All right, so on this side with the, the black groove, the screw goes on that side in that big middle hole. The block, number 20, goes on the back side and screw it in. 
Same on the other side. Okay, next up we're gonna work with parts three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're going to need hardware part G, 10 of these cam locks. Okay, so we're gonna stand part three up like this where the dowels are on this side, top and bottom. And then we bring part number seven over with the cam bolts on the side here. And those come in this way. Now there's also, uh, these wood dowels are gonna go, wood dowels are gonna go into the holes here. So we'll put a drop of glue in each hole and then we'll put all of this in here. Okay, so yeah, kind of hold it top and bottom, have the top and bottom all go in together or else it gets a little misaligned. So in like that, that should be good. And then we want part G, those cam locks. And another one at the bottom. Okay, same idea here with parts four and eight. Put the wood dowels to the bottom, left, and top. Would you give me part eight, please? And part eight will go like this, where the wood dowel is facing down. And don't forget the glue in the hole here. Two more cam locks. Next is five and nine. Okay, so we're putting piece five and nine here together. Uh, I've been having some trouble with it and I realize that's because, remember my piece number nine here, the wood dowel is actually on the wrong side. Uh, it came with the hole here for the wood dowel, but the hole should have been here. So here's a trick, uh, a tip to know if you're putting these pieces in right. Cam bolts are up and you have some extra height coming off of this piece here. That's the correct direction. Uh, we'll, we'll work with it as is for now and, and see if maybe I have to drill a hole there, pull that out, I don't know. Okay, finally we have six and 10. So here we have six with the dowels, top left and bottom. The holes for the cam locks are here. Thank you. So we know that piece number 10 is gonna come in this way. And once that's in, cam locks are here and we have the extra height coming up this way. That's how we know it's in the right direction. And that means that our cam bolt is there. Don't forget the glue and the holes. Okay, for this next step, we're taking those four pieces that we just put together. So we have three, four, five, and six. And then we also pull in piece number 15. Now I'm looking ahead and realizing that this is where that number nine piece, where the dowel is on the wrong end, this is where it's gonna be a problem for me. So I'm gonna pull this out here 
and I'm gonna go take care of this out in the garage. I need to drill a hole in the other end that my dowel can go in. Uh, so gotta fix that, I'll be back in a minute. For my piece number nine here, drill the hole in there and have the dowel set in there now. So back to where we were, uh, we've got piece number three here. Okay, what we'll do now uh, with this long piece 15 standing up like that, we're going to turn it over onto its side and then we'll take this end and connect it to number 15 so that we'll have one on this end and one on that end and then we'll fill in the ones in the middle. Then the cam lock goes in from underneath. All right, for pieces four and five here, it's just the dowel. Just the wood dowel going into uh, the hole here on 15. So, so put a little glue in the hole, slide, the dowel in, uh, but there's no cam lock for these pieces. Okay, now we have piece number two here. Uh, it's resting on the blocks that are on the back side. Just let it rest there for a little bit. We want to put glue in the holes where these dowels are gonna go in. And those are the holes that are closest to the middle. So the middle has the screw in it. We wanna put glue in the hole, in the holes on either side. And that's all the way down left to right. So no, no screw over here, but still it's, it's uh, from the middle of the board, the two closest ones. Okay, now piece number two, you notice uh, the way it's facing, the black part, the black rail is here, it's going to go up like this. Okay, and that's in. Let me show you a little bit about a little bit of what I was looking at during that. So trying to piece it together, uh, try to put the left to the right to the middle, try to put it all on at the same time. Uh, and as you're trying to do so, you know, trying to line up these dowels and your two middle pieces here and the one behind me this way. Uh, those are the ones that have a little more wiggle in them. Uh, you're going to want to line those up. And just a little bit of time, little adjustment on the right, little adjustment on the left, little adjustment in the middle, 
and uh, and you can get those all together. So I need two hands to, to get it back, uh, but that's what you're looking at. And just do a little bit at a time until they all go in. Okay, uh, with those pieces together, with just the wooden dowels holding it together, we now need some hardware. Six of those screws J and the Allen wrench that we've used before. Okay, going across the base here, there's gonna be uh, a hole on either side of the blocks. Uh, and then there are two on this end and two more on the far end. Uh, a screw for each one. I'm gonna start here on one of the middle, uh, here towards the middle, uh, because we know that these are sort of the least secure, right? So let's go ahead and secure those ones, uh, the two middle ones in first. Okay, now we're going to stand this up so that the blocks are facing upwards. Grab piece number 17. These pieces here, we worked with those before. Look at the peg on this side. Put a peg in the small hole. Going all the way around. Then we have four screws, part C, and the Allen wrench. Okay, now it's time to flip it over and to put the, the back on, some of the back pieces. Okay, we have here two 13s and a 14. The 13s go on the sides and the 14 in the middle. Closer look on that. We're just sliding it into the groove, the groove there, and the groove here. Try to get it to sink in at the bottom. Okay, next up is part one, way back from the beginning. Remember when we put all these cam bolts in? Okay, now this piece goes on top. Uh, so let's figure out the direction. On piece number one here, you have cam bolts running down one of the edges. Uh, that edge goes here on the front of the TV stand, and you see the holes for them right there. If 
feels pretty good. This side over here, you can tell it fits nicely. Over here, it doesn't quite sink in as well. But maybe when we get the, uh, the cam locks on, maybe as we finish up, it'll, it'll tighten up into place. 11 of those cam locks, part G. Let's start back in the left corner. And yeah, that's already feeling better once that cam lock is off. There we go, we got the flash turned on so we can see better. So there's that first cam lock I put in. Right back in there. We'll do another one right up in there. Okay, so that was the first one. That was the second one. That one was already in. We did that before with a different piece. Looks like our next one is here right in front of us. Feels like I'm working under the hood of a car. And the last one, well, last one in this cupboard area is there. Well, that was fun. Next cupboard area. Here it's just this one in the middle. If it was tough to tell where that last one was, I just did. It was right up in there. Other side cabinet area, there should be, what, four or five in here? Let's find them all. Back left corner, back right corner, and then one, two, three, across the front. Okay, we can get back out from under the hood of the car here. Okay, the next step is to put some plastic wedges on the back. Uh, I assume these are cord holders uh, to kind of pin up your cords on the back side. So uh, let's turn this around and go ahead and do that. Plastic wedge with the screws are parts E and F. I'm going to use a small Phillips screwdriver for that. All right, and this is how that screw is going to go in there. You've got the plastic wedge looking like this. Okay. And the screw goes in on this side. You can really put these anywhere. Uh, generally just put them top, bottom, left, right. Top, bottom, left, right. Top, bottom, left, right. 
Okay, on second thought, I am not going to put these pieces on because notice how deep these screws go. So you decide if you want to put these in or not. Um, if it goes in, kind of hold it up to here and get an idea for how deep it would go. What I'm seeing, what I'm thinking is even though these go in at a slant, I think these screws are going to stick out on the inside. And when I open the door and look inside my TV stand, I don't really want to see the end of screws sticking out. So I don't know. Um, I'm not going to put them on mine. Uh, I would rather just have my cords hanging around the back is fine with me. Uh, or another option might be to super glue these on or something. So we'll, we'll move on to the next step, which is getting these stickers, part number R, and just going through the inside of the TV stand. Okay, we have 21 stickers. It's gotta be lucky, right? Lucky 21. So I'll just start putting them over all the cam locks and I'll see what, if any, I have left after that. Okay, well, that's interesting. The construction guide here says to put some of those stickers on the bottom. I don't know who's gonna be looking there, so I am not gonna bother putting any stickers there, but that's where I guess they want you to put them. So up to you if you wanna do that, but I'm moving on. Up next is to put the shelf supports in. It's part D here, and these are real easy. I just choose where you want your shelf position to be on the top, middle, or bottom position. Wherever you feel like you want your shelves, and you can always move them later, not a big deal. Okay, we're looking for parts 11, 12, and another 11. Here's one of the 11s. Notice the notches cut out. That's where you can rest it on the inserts that we just put in, the supports. Here's another 11. And there's our 12. It's coming along. Okay, up next are the doors. These are parts 21 and 22. We're gonna get hardware parts M and N. M are the screws, N are the handles. Let's open these up. Okay, so the way this works is we're gonna get a handle, we're gonna put it under the door. There we go, that's in. And secure it with a couple of these screws, part M and a Phillips screwdriver. Same thing, other door. Okay, up next are parts K and L. We're gonna work on the other ends of the door uh, and put these plates uh, on the corners. Those are the holes we're working with. Okay, so this plate here has uh, a side with grooves. The screws are gonna fit in the grooves. Can you see that? Room for a screw head right there. You turn this over, 
it's more smooth and flat, right? So smooth flat side goes down to the door. And we're gonna position this plate so that it is hanging off the edge here. Uh, I'm gonna line mine up so that the screw head here goes into the middle groove, and then the screw here will go into that groove uh, at that end. And let's do it again on the other door. Okay, hang in there, we're almost there. Time to put the handles of the doors on. That's parts S and T. Okay, we need to unscrew the screws first. All right, handle goes on the bottom. Screws on top. Okay, so let's get these doors on. The plates go towards the bottom in the groove. Push it up this way, lift it up for the pulleys to go over and hook. And that's it. That's on. Let's do the other one. Okay, and that is a finished product. We are all done. Thanks for watching. And let me know if there's some other item from Walmart, Costco, wherever you like to shop, uh, that you'd like me to do a video of putting it together so we can all help each other out. Thanks very much. Have a nice day.